the fall of 1991. The public has been led to believe that the uh, Federal Army attack on Dubrovnik was not precipitated by anything but sheer malice. However, on August 25th of 1991, Croatian forces attacked a base uh, in the Bay of Kotor, on the Bay of Kotor, and they were repulsed with heavy losses. Yugoslav troops, based in Montenegro, then fought their way up the coast, confronting Croatian forces near Dubrovnik. Targets outside the old city were hit, uh, consisting mostly of hotels, which had been uh, uh, taken over as barracks and spotter points by Croatian forces, who also put refugees in the lower stories of their own barracks and spotter facilities. It was obvious that the Croats were using the old town as a defensive wall. They were firing from behind hospitals. They had a mortar position next to our hotel. The final straw for me was when there was this incredible bombardment in our hotel basement. Bang, 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 bang. The worst we had ever heard. And I was furious, and everyone else was panicking. And I said to the manager who was down there with us, I said, I wish you would tell that chap with the heavy machine gun in the floor above to stop firing at the Serbs, because they're going to fire back. Contrary to news reports, there was little damage to the historic old city. Yes, it has been reported uh, some 15,000 shells rained on the old city of Dubrovnik. I counted 15 mortar hits on the main street. The Yugoslav Federal Army could have destroyed the old city of Dubrovnik in two hours. It is not destroyed. Washington Post reporter Peter Maas, who visited the old city several months after the fighting stopped, found Dubrovnik in what he described as nearly pristine condition. There are many people who go to these uh, scenes of uh, mayhem and adventure who don't know where they are, who don't know the languages, cannot really communicate with the people, and who take press handouts from the local authorities. So there is certainly a, an orchestrated effort on the part of the Croatian and uh, the Slovenian, Austrian, and German media to portray the Serbs as a bunch of howling, Byzantine, uncivilized barbarians. The facts on the ground, however, mattered little after first impressions had been made. Rather than admit that they had made a mistake, influential columnists on both sides of the Atlantic continued to write that Dubrovnik had been destroyed. Public opinion was tilted against the Serbs and towards Croatia's political goal, recognition as an independent state. These impressions helped strengthen Germany's resolve to lead a reluctant European community to recognize the separatist republics and thereby dismantle Yugoslavia. To overcome British opposition to recognizing Croatia, German Prime Minister Helmut Kohl offered British leader John Major a deal which left Britain free to disregard or opt out of the social provisions of the 1991 treaty creating a unified Europe, which was being hotly debated in the British Parliament. This helped John Major politically at home, but Bosnia would pay a high price. The French, who needed German help to stabilize France's currency, also dropped their opposition to recognizing the separatist republics. <laughs>